Hello and welcome to GLADNet's online tutorials. In this three-minute tutorial, we'll be demonstrating the on-premise installation of CenterStack, GLADNet's managed file sync and share solution. Some wait times have been compressed to shorten the overall length of this video. CenterStack has the ability to manage multiple tenants simultaneously. Typically, with an on-site installation like the one we are describing here, you will utilize and customize the default tenant that is initially created for you. The name default tenant can also be changed later. Before we start, just a quick reminder of the system requirements for CenterStack. CenterStack runs on a clean virtual or hardware server, 64-bit architecture. Minimum requirement for memory is 4 gigabytes, 160 gigabytes of hard drive space, and can be run on a Windows 2008 R2 server, Windows 2012 R2 server or Windows 2016 server. From the server that you will be downloading and installing CenterStack on, you'll want to access our website centerstack.com and log into the partner portal. If you do not have a partner login, you can register on this screen also. If you do, enter your information here and it will log you into our partner portal and from the portal you can do a number of things for your clusters. One of them is to download software and you would go to the upper left hand of the screen, the four horizontal lines click on private center stack download. Click on download this will download the software to the server you're on. Again, this is a server that you want to install CenterStack on. Next, agree to terms of service. Next again, we're going to use the Express all-in-one installation, which is recommended and fits nearly 95% of all implementations. And now we'll start the installation. We've compressed many of the activities here just for the sake of making sure the video is short. But you can see it goes through a number of things for you as an all-in-one installation. Once the installation is complete, it will require a restart of the server. Once the server restarts, it'll bring up the initial screen for CenterStack. Here you'll enter in what you believe will be your default admin username, which ultimately you will manage this instance of CenterStack with. We suggest it's not a active domain name, just in case there are times where the active directory is not connected. Once you have logged in, you can see the dashboard. You click in the upper left hand side and we can manage the tenant. The tenant here is called the default tenant for now. We initially set this up for you and I'll show you how to change the name, manage tenant. Click on views and actions. Click on tenant plan. Here you can edit the name of this tenant. Change it from default tenant to your tenant. A few other things you can do on this page also. Apply changes. As you now see, the tenant here is called your tenant. And from this point forward, you have center stack up and running. Your one tenant is installed. We have not connected to Active Directory. We have not connected to your file server yet. However, if you'd like, you can still use center stack in what's called a native mode. And in subsequent videos, I'll explain how to connect into your file server and how to connect into your Active Directory if that's what you'd like to do. Thank you very much and have a great day.